Hello and happy birthday. I'm going to do the birthday reading for December 27th. And this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what does not. And we're going to do a kind of overall energy for the year to come. So we're going to start with my animal oracle. So I have my cleansing crystal on top. I'm going to get a bunch of different cards and see what the message is. <clears throat> All right. We have snake spirit, time to heal. So this may be a year of personal healing, personal growth, and healing relationships, but I feel like it's healing within yourself. Um, taking this time this year to heal yourself from things. And I feel that that's very important because that kind of closes some doors and it ends some chapters and you're able to release and let go of things and then you feel lighter and then you're able to move forward without continuing, continually repeating patterns. Maybe there's some habits or some patterns that you know, you're going to be breaking this year because you're healing and you're moving on and you're not dealing with you know, some, some energies of, of hurt or you know, it could be healing relationships, but I feel like it's a lot of healing within yourself this year that's going to be happening. And that's always a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. So we have our star dragons, which is vision, contemplating the future. And then we have transcendence, which is achieving success. So definitely that's what I was saying is that where you're closing some doors, where you're taking that time to heal, that you're opening new doors where you're achieving success and transcendence is I feel like is, is, is like leveling up, you know, you're leveling up that you again, which I was saying before is that you're not carrying things from the past with you. You're not carrying that past hurt that you're letting things go and you're kind of realizing, you know what? I don't need to carry all of these things around me. I don't have to carry all of these weights around. And how can I heal myself this year? What, what is that self-care that I can do this year that can really heal me and to help me, right? Is it changing those, you know, purging things in your living space, getting rid of those things that you feel are holding you back? Is it even, like I've said many times before, where I just rearranged the furniture in my bedroom and it made a massive difference. I rearranged every piece of furniture. I put my bed on a different wall and it the energy totally changed. And I feel like this year is that you're rearranging things and you're you're looking at things differently and you're really looking out for yourself and doing a lot of self-care, especially with that looking towards the future and saying, it's time for me to move on, that I don't want to be stuck in this energy, that I don't want to be stuck in this hurt, that I don't want to keep feeling these things, that I'm I'm giving myself that birthday present where I'm looking out for myself, I'm doing that self-care and I'm healing. I'm I'm giving myself that time to heal and move on from situations. I have my... Um, this one's been coming out a lot, um, this chaos and conflict. I kind of feel like this is the tower card, but like I've said many times before, I feel the tower card is a good card because it means that something that was built on a false foundation or something that wasn't working, that it's time to stir things up, that it's time to change things up. And I feel like a lot of things are going to be changing for you this year. We have unfinished symphony and then we have time for a nap. I feel like this time for a nap goes back with the time to heal is is... I feel that this year is important for you to take that quiet time and that time to yourself. When we get injured and when we get hurt, we're always put on bed rest. And that's so that the body is not, you know, overworking itself and it has that time to be still to heal itself. So I feel like this quiet time for you is this time for you to heal. And, and sometimes it's hard to be still and to be quiet. Maybe this year it's about meditation. Um, you know, and sometimes that can be hard because a lot of thoughts will come in our head and we'll start thinking about things and we'll start getting emotional. And sometimes we don't want to face those emotions and feelings, but sometimes it's important for us to do that so that we can process those and we can let those go. I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of inner work this year. I feel like it's important for you to take that quiet time and have that downtime for you to process things. It could be, it doesn't mean that you have to take, you know, um, days or weeks. It could just be taking an hour and you you just have that quiet time where sometimes when I work on a puzzle, it's good quiet time and I can kind of do, 
you know, I'm focusing on the puzzle, but I'm also kind of having that quiet time in my mind. Um, it could be just reading a good book. It could be just um, doing some stretches, maybe having some workout, maybe going for a walk. Um, and it's just having that quieter time to help calm yourself and to relax yourself. And I feel like that's really important this year. And I feel like there's something that you need to complete here. And I feel like this goes back with something that you're going to heal um, maybe some unfinished business that you have to take care of this year and that helps you to heal and you're like wow I'm so glad that I finished that that I was able to move on and I was able to complete that it could be something that you really enjoy doing it could be a hobby or something that you you used to do that really made you feel good I know that when I go out to the barn just driving out there I do a lot of thinking and I do a lot of healing within myself and I have come up with a lot of ideas and just being out at the barn helps me to heal. It feels good for the soul out there. So again, whatever those things that you may do, so it could be getting back to whatever makes you feel good inside and healing that soul within yourself. So I feel like it's a lot of contemplating and, and work on yourself this year, which I think is a good thing and that brings a lot of healing for you. All right, we have the star card which is definitely a good thing because I feel like the star card represents healing. It represents, I feel, I feel it represents inner guidance and direction um, with that star card, having hope, right? Restoring hope, bringing that back to yourself. We have the Knight of Swords and we have the King of Swords. Look at that. So I feel like it's that progression. It's almost like that thought process that you have is progressing and you're saying, you know what? This really is good for me. This really is healthy for me. It is important for me to do that self-care and for me to have that time to myself this year um, just to decompress and to work through things and to let things go and to heal myself and not create more and more wounds within myself um, to where it becomes overwhelming. But if something happens, I take that time to heal. I take that time to move on before I go on, before I move forward. So I feel like there's a lot of thought process progression here within yourself going from the knight of swords to the king of swords and and putting that crown on your your head and saying you know what i've got this i i've got this under control and then we have the eight of pentacles which i like this eight of pentacles because it's like he's researching this book and he's got all these books on the shelves and and i feel like it's kind of learning more about yourself and learning more about what helps to motivate you, what helps to, what works for you and what works against you. It's almost like sometimes I feel like we automatically respond or do things because we're so used to doing it the same way, but we really don't take that time within ourselves to say, you know what, this really bothers me, so I need to change up how I do this. Or this really motivates me, so I need to focus more on these motivators and, and work that for me. And I feel like you're gonna learn I just feel like it's a lot of self-exploration and a self learning a lot about yourself this year. And by doing that, that gives you power. That gives you power to achieve success in anything that you want to do or anything that you want to make happen. And and you're you're gathering your power and you're building up your power for yourself when you're taking that time to heal and you're giving yourself that inner guidance. All right, I'm going to grab an empowering question for you. <clears throat> we have, would I be proud of myself if I spoke to other people in the same way as my thoughts speak to me? That's incredibly important. And that's definitely a self-discovery question. Um, how do my thoughts speak to me? So that's incredibly important. Are they encouraging? Are they motivating? Are they positive? Are they working for you or are they negative? Are they defeating? Are they working against you? So that's, again, if they are negative, take that time to heal yourself so that you stop doing that negative self-talk, self right? That you're your own best friend and that you've got your own back and that you're saying positive, motivated, motivational things to yourself, right? And that you're working with yourself, not against yourself. I'm going to grab a angel answers. We have no, so no more self negative talk. And this one kind of wanted to pop out too. So you get a bonus one. We have success. Look at that success. When you say no to negative talk, that brings in success. 
okay? That brings in that positive, that gives you that time to heal, and it gives you back in that motivation. So saying no to no talk, that's that's what that no represented to me. And if and and when you saw that no, if you definitely went to something very negative, why did you go there? And explore that, right? Paying attention to how you're reacting to things and saying, why am I, why does that make me angry or why does that make me frustrated or why is my first thought a negative thought and why do I feel that way? Why do I feel like I need to be on the defensive, right? Why do I, why do I have to feel that way and explore those things and what is making me feel that way and why do I feel that way and, and doing that self-care and saying, okay, I need to learn more about that and I need to change how I'm responding or I'm reacting because this is the year for you to heal and for you to open up new new doors, right? And, and again, you have success twice here, okay? So it's that transcendence, it's moving forward and it's achieving success and we have success with an exclamation mark. There's huge successes that doors that are that are there for you to open, but there's some work that you have to do first, right? There's some work and some healing you need to do first for yourself and get yourself into those patterns of giving yourself that downtime or if that's what you need, right? Again, exploring what do I need, what works for me or what works against me and to make those changes this year and, and really be dedicated to that, right? To not give it a half effort, but to say, you know what? I really want success. It came up twice in this reading that I want to achieve success, whatever that may represent for you. And I want to achieve my goals this year and I'm going to have that mindset of I'm going to make it happen, right? that I'm going to have these challenges, but the challenges are there for me to learn from and for me to grow from and for me to see that, okay, something needs to be changed. All right, we're gonna grab a crystal for you for your reading. It's a little hard to <laughs> shuffle. Okay, that one. <laughs> so we have this one here that came out. And we have pyrites, which I have some, I think I've got some, let me grab it. That's this, that's this stone right here. I love this. I think it's beautiful. All right, so look at that success. Look at, and it, and it almost looks like gold, right? We have luck, prosperity, and success. Look at that, three times, three times you got success, okay? three times. So that's again, that's another, that's what you need to focus on, right? You've got that three times, one, two, three. And this, this looks like a big chunk of gold, right? Sparkly gold for you. So that's where you need to motivate yourself. And then I feel like these two cards are the same, but I feel like it's kind of taking that time out and saying, how can I achieve that? All right, we have the gold standard when it comes to crystals. Pyrite attracts abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Look at that. Look at all of this positive energy that you have in your reading for your birthday reading. Known as fool's gold, pyrite encourages you to follow your dreams and envision your desires. Manifesting powers are high when this crystal is at play. Pyrite has that spark. Literally, pyrite can create fire when struck against another stone or metal and is believed to contain the element of fire in its core. Pyrite also acts as a powerful protector, shielding you from negativity, right? From this, this no and this negativity, if you're talking to yourself negatively, um, and protecting the integrity of your aura. Strike fast and don't look back, right? Make it happen. Don't look back. Don't question yourself. Don't put by doubt in your mind and just keep moving forward. And maybe this year, if you're out and you happen to see some pie, right? Maybe pick yourself up a, a piece of it, right? And to remind yourself. And every time you look at it and you, you know, you say, this is my year for success, right? Because you got success three times. This is your year for success without a doubt, okay? And that's what you need to focus on and to remind yourself. So you have to, some healing to do first, right? There's some things, these here that you have to work on first and get into that self-care, kind of stir things up, change things, change things up and do things differently because you don't want to keep them the same and to have that progression within yourself and re reach that success. You can do it. Okay, give yourself that gift of success this year, okay? You can do it, but you have to have the mindset and to follow through. So I'm I'm super excited for you. You got an amazing reading. Um, they've all been really good. 
but you know, this one, I really feel it's just, it's a successful reading. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Happy birthday to you. Um, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.